Hi and welcome to the Forest of Arden. My name is Chris Ryan and today we are talking all about the impact. We're looking specifically about the shoulders, the angle that you should have in your shoulders, and then a really good way that you can just feel what this would be like in practice, which is hopefully going to help you, you know, take that through, hit the ball better. I would tend to see this drill helping those golfers who feel like they don't really compress the golf ball, they feel like they hit the ball very high. They maybe are appreciative that they have the handle a little bit too far back behind the golf ball at impact. So many of those golfers who demonstrate some of those traits that we've just discussed at impact would not have enough angle in the shoulders. So what we're talking about angle is how the trail shoulder is relative to the lead shoulder. So at impact, I would like my trail shoulder to be lower than my lead shoulder. What I would tend to see as a, as a real notable pattern between maybe your elite golfers and your higher handicap golfers is the elite golfers would tend to have a little bit more of an angle in the shoulders, whereas the high handicap golfers who are say demonstrate some of those traits that we mentioned would tend to have their shoulders a little bit too close to level. So let's just quickly look at what those two impacts might look like um, and then exactly what the drill might be to help you understand how you're going to change that. So if I were to first look at a golfer who maybe would be you know not striking the ball as well as they'd like, maybe not compressing the golf ball, maybe not with the handle forwards, it would not be uncommon to see an impact position such as this where you can see I haven't really delivered the handle forward of the golf ball. My you know, right wrist is very, very extended. Uh, sorry, very, very flexed this way. So that's going to add loft to the golf club. And you'll notice that my trail shoulder is pretty much the same level as my lead shoulder. Now, what might that look like if we were looking at a, an elite golfer demonstrating this impact? Well, we would often see a very, very different look to their impact. Now I may well have exaggerated this slightly, but you'll notice that I have the handle forwards, I still have a good amount of bend in my trail wrist, and my trail shoulder is much lower than my lead shoulder. Again, putting a little bit more of what we call side bend into this downswing. Now, just on a side note as well, this added little bit of side bend that we're talking about here, so this trail shoulder being lower, can often also help the golfer with the delivery of the golf club in terms of the club path. We're not going to go into that too much detail into this video, but just bear in mind that if you are a left to right player of the golf ball, you would like to maybe look at reducing that amount of shape. This can often be very influential in the club's path. So let's have a look at a drill we can do. Let's think about the distance between the club head and your trail shoulder. So when I take my starting position, and I'm only going to use my trail hand here, I have created a distance between the trail shoulder and the club head. That distance is, we can't measure it, but it's whatever it may be. Now, as I make my backswing and my right arm folds and my right wrist bends, the distance between the club head and my shoulder will reduce. So the golf club head is much closer to my trail shoulder. Now, if I was to keep my trail shoulder very high in the downswing, the only way I would be able to hit the golf ball would be to get that distance exactly back to what it was at the start. So that would cause me to probably start to throw the club head out away from me, extend the right arm far too early, in order for me to make contact with the golf ball. If I maintain some of the flex in my right arm, my trail arm, some of the bend in my right wrist that I had in the back swing, if I was to maintain some of that right the way to impact, then for me to strike the golf ball, my right shoulder has to move some amount down towards the golf ball because effectively I've shortened the distance between the club head and my shoulder. If I shorten that distance, I have to make it up with that shoulder going down, because if I didn't, if I just had my impact with the handle forwards and the shoulder high, you can see I wouldn't reach that golf ball. So a really, really simple drill is actually just to make some swings with two hands, take your lead hand off, and just rehearse moving the golf club to the golf ball, trying to keep some flex in that trail arm, and trying to keep some angle in that right wrist. You'll notice what that's done to my shoulders, my trail shoulder is significantly lower. I've had to add some of what we call side bend in an attempt to get that club head to that ball. It's also had the effect of opening up my body and I've been able to deliver the golf club with a handle forward. I'm able to demonstrate some of the traits that we would like to see at impact. Weight is on the lead side, hips are open, good amount of tilt across the shoulders and a good amount of lean forward in the handle. So, how I use my right shoulder was really, really key to that. If I was to make my downswing and not make that right shoulder move towards the golf ball, I've only really got two options. I either maintain some of the angles that we'd like, 
and I swing above the ball, or I try and straighten out those angles far too soon in an attempt to reach the golf ball. This is what you will do in your goal swing. You will not miss the ball. You will do what you need to to make contact. For many of you where we don't have enough side bend, it will just be a case of straightening out that right arm as early as you often can see in your goal swing. That creates that impact position that we don't really like. That creates the strikes that we don't really like, the ball flights, the weak shots, etc., etc. So take a look at some of the best golfers that you will see. Dustin Johnson is a fantastic example of this. He has a huge amount of tilt across his shoulders. He often strikes the golf ball with his trail arm still bent. Handle is very much forward of the irons. Obviously one of the best golfers on the planet at the moment. So we would definitely be able to like to look at what he does and maybe take some, some things from that. We're not going to get you to swing like Dustin Johnson, I'm afraid. But we can start to look at what these golfers do, what the traits that they possess are, and understand how maybe implementing them into your practice can help you. So what I would get you to do is actually do that then with two hands. Back up to the top and try and deliver the golf club to the golf ball trying to keep some bend in that trail arm. Now again, I've maybe exaggerated this movement a little bit more than what would be um, you know, seen in a full goal swing, but I'm starting to see this side bend to my right, trail shoulder is lower, right arm is more flexed, handle is more forward. These are things we want you to look for in this drill. What I would then get you to do is actually just clip one off the tee peg. So I'm gonna just go ahead and demonstrate that for you. So backswing, rehearse right the way to impact and then just clip it off the tee peg. Now, you can quite clearly see that wasn't the best strike. Uh, certainly hit the ground a little bit before the ball, but that's not really the purpose. We're not looking to hit perfect shots here. We're looking to create some new ideas, create some new feels, and almost initially just get you to get your head around what these positions are gonna be like and how you need to move your body to hit them. Once you can do that, we can then start to add the speed and then start to look at actually what is the ball flight doing? Is that ball drawing, straight, fading, whatever it may be? But initially, we're just looking to create some good movements, some new movements, and just get a feel for what they're going to be like. So if you feel like you fall into that category of the golf that we spoke about at the start, that does sound very much like you, the high ball flights, the no divots, the ground early, the thin shots, the handle back. Let's take a look at the amount of bend you have in your body at impact. Think about your trail shoulder relative to your lead shoulder. Have a little go at that drill during practice and start to get a good idea of what you need to do and how you need your, to move your body in order to achieve some of those impact conditions that we demonstrated. Hopefully that is helpful to you and hopefully that helps you hit those irons a little bit better next time you're out on the golf course. Thank you very much for watching. Usual stuff is down below. There's a comments box down there. There's a like button, all that normal stuff. That would be great if you could give it a thumbs up if you did like the video. Thank you very much for watching and uh, we shall see you again soon.